Now we are going to introduce the project uh, entity. Uh, it says an employee may be assigned to many projects. A project may have many employees assigned to it. So there is this many to many relationship. But let's start introducing our project entity first. Project ID again is our primary key. And let's say project name and let's say project date project let's say start date and that's okay for the time being oh, there's a monitor bit being not blank okay uh, there's project entity here since there's a main to main relationship we need to introduce a bridge entity between project and employee and one thing to, be, to pay attention to is, you know, some employees may not be assigned to uh, these projects, but there must be at least one employee in, in a project. Uh, therefore, employee side of this relationship is required, because some employees may not be required to assign certain projects, so those project side is optional to employees, but the employee is required for a project. And let's introduce the bridge entity. Let's call it, for the bridge entity, we can call it employee project or we can call it assignment. In this case, assignment is a good entity name. And as you might remember, offline for the bridge entities, we use uh, a composite primary key. Basically, we take primary keys from both uh, neighboring uh, entities, in this case, employee and project, and use uh, those attributes as primary keys as a kind of composite primary key. In this case, they are going to be employee ID and project ID. There might be cases you may choose to create a different uh, primary key. Uh, there are good cases there uh, explained uh, in detail in your textbook. Uh, you may want to look at those things. And if you have any questions about those issues, uh, let me know. Okay, this is the assignment uh, entity. Now we have a uh, mean to look at the relationship between these uh, entities. First employee and assignment, then assignment and project. We know that uh, an assignment must have at least one employee, and but some employees may not be assigned to a project. So employee side of the relationship is again required, but the assignment side is going to be optional. And the relationship is one to many. That's what we know that it's because a project may have many employees assigned to it. And the relationship strength is uh, because they, if you look at the composite primary key, uh, employee ID is also primary key in the employee table. And they share it primary key, basically, attribute this primary key in both entities. Therefore, relationship is strong. So we are going to use a straight line. Relationship is one to many, many side being optional. So we are going to select main side here and get our zigzag line and connect employee ID to employee ID in assignment entity. Basically, we have this one. And let's name this relationship as, uh, let's put it here. Employee is, is assigned. The next step is project and assignment. We know that a project must have at least one employee assigned to it. So again, employee side is required for this relationship. And a project may employ many employees, so therefore the relationship is one to many. And since project ID and project ID are shared attributes in both entities, and they are primary keys, uh, or part of the primary key in assignment entity, the relationship is strong. And both sides are required in this case. Because for a project unit, at least, oh, I forgot to change the relationship and many side is required. When you say one to many, it means one or many, as you see here, when you, here it means one or many. So it satisfies the requirement that at least one employee required, needed for a project to get a project started. So, and basically this is. And let's 
let's name the relationship. Say a project is written in an assignment. Okay, this part is taken care of. We have two more business rules to look at. Uh, one of the employees manages each department and each department is managed by one employee. So basically departments uh, have managers and managers is one of the employees. In the relationship is one to one. So it means some employees are assigned as managers. We have uh, two ways of dealing with this one. Either we can introduce a recursive relationship in employee entity or introduce a foreign key in department entity, let's say employee ID, and it's basically department ID, this, department name is that, and connected division, and also we can do employee ID, in this case employee ID refers to actually manager ID, but since we, are, we can use the same attribute name. So what let's do this way, we, let's introduce employee ID as a foreign key here, but this employee ID actually refers to to the person who manages the department. This is when you're creating your documentation, not inside the ERD like this, but when you create an ERD, basically, the next step is to create a documentation to explain these relationships and uh, other requirements. That's what you did, but just I, I introduced this uh, enter this comment to show you uh, it should be done as part of documentation but whatever comment you put in here it won't appear is appear on your ERD but it's for your own purpose because when you go back to this entity you can look at the attributes and find employee ID you can say oh this is what it's for and the relationship is one to one that's what we know uh, but some employees may not be managers Therefore, the manager management side, manager department side of that relationship is going to be optional. This is one to one, and one side is being optional, and it's weak. So, you need at, you need at least one employee to manage your department, but not all employees are can be managers. So it is one to one, and for example, when you click on this zigzag line, so it, you don't want to get confused. You can use a different color if you want to. Uh, line color, let's change the line color to blue so that it would designate the additional relationship. Uh, you may have additional relationship, more than one relationship between two entities. And okay, let's see. So this is blue one, blue line. And let's put manages. Uh, the last business rule is about one of the employees runs each division and each division is run by only one employee again same type of relationship so this time we are going to enter insert another uh, attribute here called again employee ID again this per this time refers to person who manages division okay. again the, again this is same type of one to one to one relationship uh, division side of being optional because not all employees uh, can be managed And let's make this one a different color. Let's make it green. Okay. Again, this is say runs. That's all. Now we complete our ERD. Next step will be we are going to learn about it later on. But next step will be the documentation. After that, you're going to go to implementation phase.